a toilet, a radio, and perhaps a television, a window, a ceiling, a door, but with no handle. This is the home of my students. I had signed up to become a teacher at a Young Offenders Institute, Cookham Wood. I was to start a film club with another filmmaker, Tim Cronin. On my first day, I was a little bit nervous until someone shouted, Oi, Mooney, is that you, yeah? You see, Mooney is the name of the character I played in the film Kid Altered. It ranks alongside Sponge as the silliest character name ever. <laughs> Mooney, is that you? What, man heard you that we're doing a little film club thing. What, why can't man come? What, what do you not do, like, watch films? I explained to him that our aim was to teach the young men every aspect of filmmaking, from concept stage to post-production. Tim and I had limited resources, a basic camera, an iMac with editing software that had never been updated. Guess why? Because it had never been connected to the internet. <laughs> uh, we started off by teaching the young men improvisation and stop-start animation. We later progressed to making videos that were used internally for training and induction purposes. One of my favorite pieces of work that we did was a, a video that we made that incorporated African gospel songs. I'm not going to break into any, but I, was, I, I love this video because, you know, I found out that the boys knew exactly the same songs that I knew, or some of them knew exactly the same songs that I knew because we, we grew up sort of in church singing these songs. Not with them, but, you know. But anyway, that was my favorite piece of work we did. And... Um, I was really touched when one of the young men came up to me and said, Oi, oi, Mooney, you know what, yeah? You've taught man how to turn one room into a thousand places still. I was touched by this. However, Tim and I really wanted to get across to the young men that filmmaking was to be for an audience. You, you create films with an audience in mind, and, and prisons being the restrictive places that they are, it was very difficult to get opportunities to showcase our work. So you can imagine how excited we were when we were commissioned by the Prisoners Education Trust to create a video for their website. But not just any video, a video about the Prison Youth Council. What's the Youth Council, I hear you scream. <laughs> the, the Youth Council is um, everything to the young men. It's their very own democratic system. Uh, and through the council, they, they've achieved so much. In my first few weeks in the prison, I noticed that all the young, young men that were youth council reps wore, wore T-shirts with youth council rep writ large across them and walked around the prison proudly. And they had every reason to be proud, because in most cases, they had been chosen through an election-based system. Um, before the youth council, the two strongest guys in the prison could sit on the phone for, for 30 minutes each and not let no one else use the phone. At the youth council, the young men were able to table a system where each person could use the phone for 10 minutes before being blocked out for another half an hour. What's more, some of the young men grew frustrated with the worksheet-based approach taken to education in prison. So they suggested the introduction of level three courses, A-levels, Duke of Edinburgh, I, you know, they were, I was really excited about the Youth Council because I, I, I didn't know that such a system existed. Wait, 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 Femi, 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 wait, 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 wait. How are we going to make a film, yeah, about the Youth Council, but in just one room? I thought we taught you how to turn one room into a thousand places. It was clearly going to be tough. We, we'd never created anything that was shown outside the prison before. We had no budget, access to only one room, and after much negotiation, a stairwell, a stairwell. <laughs> and we were aware that 
the video was going to act as an advert to other prison managers about the potential of this fledgling democratic system. So it had to be, you know, at least decent. So we got creative. The young men wrote scripts. One of them wrote poetry. Um, and they recruited me to do the voiceover for the video. I'd like to show you a short clip which highlights the difficulties that we encountered working in this restricted environment and how we managed to overcome them. I became involved in a youth council because I thought it was an opportunity to improve my prison experience. A youth council inspired me to seek higher level courses which weren't available before. Education allows me to improve my teamwork and communication. It inspires me to take a new road and gives me self-belief. Education allows me to be expressive and find my talent. By realising a talent, new opportunities are open to me that I didn't know about before. The prison management heard my voice and now I'm taking level 3 courses. The prison has now introduced other courses such as distant learning courses, A-levels and Duke of Edinburgh. This shows how, as a forum, the Youth Council has improved life at Cookham. Using the opportunities at Cookham Wood has allowed me to find my voice. Involve. Inspire. Improve. The Youth Council is an example of people participating in democracy in an unlikely place. Through the Youth Council, the young people in the prison are engaging in democracy in a more meaningful way than they probably would if they were on the outside. The Youth Council also gives them an opportunity to engage with those in authority. What's more, through managed and clear communication, they are able to chip away at the mistrust that exists between them and prison staff. The young people loved and cared about the Youth Council so much because it's had a direct effect on their community. Through the Youth Council, they were able to have a voice, secure change to their current living conditions, and secure their future prospects. Young people in the 18 to 25 category are disengaged and there's a lot of publicity about this. I believe that young people do care about political issues, but they don't care about politics. In addition to this, I, I believe that a lot more needs to be done in schools and colleges to teach young people how they can participate within the political system as it is. Also, I think young people's disengagement must be reframed as disapproval of the present political landscape. Political parties must step up to the plate and tackle the challenge of engaging with young people on issues that they care about as opposed to trying to dictate their agenda. Back to my young people at Cookham. Through participation in the Youth Council, they are learning. They are learning to have a voice. They are learning about the tangible effect of democracy. And what's more, they are learning to be citizens. Hopefully, this sense of citizenship will lead them to desist from crime and resettle within their communities. I'd like to finish with a video which features a poem written by one of the young men about the importance of education in prison. Because through the practical education of the Youth Council, the young men are learning more about democracy on the inside than they would on the outside in schools and colleges, which is a shame. Here's the video. Thank you for having me, by the way. <laughs> Get education in prison. It might feel long, but it ain't a mission. Can't tell you what to do. It's your decision. 
when you get out, you'll be in a greater position. Education is the key. It opens doors for you and for me. It also makes you feel free. Don't be stupid. Everyone can succeed. Be a smart boy or girl. Make a good choice. Make your education and voice make noise. Ask to do any course. Your voice will be heard, of course. Being in prison is like going back to school. Leave smart and not as a fool. Your voice is always heard, just be polite with your words. Staff is here to help you, they even look after your health. Make your voice and actions speak volume.